in preparation for Friday Night Football against Mike Leach, it is Coach Dana Holgerson, the Houston Cougars coach, uh, our good friend. So, Coach, first of all, thank you for not being so Hollywood that you could still talk to some old friends. There was a moment there where I thought you had forgotten where you came from and we just were never going to hear from you again. Look, guys, this is Texas, not California, so it's all good, man. You guys, you guys can come down here and see me anytime. You guys, you guys are the ones that are Hollywood, not me. Ooh, That's very true. We Hollywood too big for our britches. Yeah. Um, so, Coach, you're going to be going up against uh, against Mike Leach this weekend. Do you guys, you guys, I would assume, are familiar with each other? Yeah, we kind of go way back. Uh, you know, he's uh, it, it, when I started studying this stuff, I. I, it dawned on me that, you know, he's been there for eight years now. He's been stuck in Pullman, Washington for <laughs> for eight years. It's pretty amazing to me. He had such a good run at Texas Tech for 10 years. He moved to Key West. I mean, I've, I've been, you know, shoot, I'd go, we go way back to 1990, 91, 92, and there back Iowa Wesleyan, Valdosta days. So, yeah, we're pretty familiar with each other. Uh, you know, when I took the Houston job, you know, I know he, he pops through Houston every now and then, so I was looking forward to reconnecting. And then I looked at the schedule, and Washington State was game three. So we had a trip to the Bahamas planned that I canceled and haven't really been able to hang out with him here just because he's back on the schedule. But I uh, have, have hung out with him a good bit here over the last five, five, six, eight years. Can you guys, like, before the game, just agree to always go for it on fourth down, no punts? That would be fun. I like our punter, though. Shit. Uh, you know, he's he's a lot better than I am on offense. You know, he's got that thing rolling. He's been there eight years. They throw it every down. They're pretty efficient with what they do. This is year one for us, although we have a spectacular quarterback in Derek King. Uh, our, our punter, Dane Roy, is this 30-year-old Australian guy who's incredibly interesting to talk to. I uh, used to sell ice cream and got tired of doing that, so he decided to become a punter, which those those Australians grew up playing catch with their feet, uh, so they're pretty good at it. So uh, he, he's 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 pretty he's good to, he's fun to talk to, good to hang out with, but uh, is, is a pretty good punter as well. You could get him, you could get Mike to agree to that. You know, okay. I was in the booth with him for eight years, and one of the hardest parts of my job was convincing him to punt on fourth down even if it was fourth and 20 it was still a struggle to give him the punt <laughs> i love that i love that he always wanted to go for it i i can see i can see mike leach just like having a disdain for his uh for his punting crew out there how what is the story with australian punters though is there like a pipeline do they have like there specialized is. camps or how does that work now you just order them online <laughs> just one <laughs> click <laughs> yeah no, it's true. You can just order them. So uh, they did. They they grew up playing catch with their feet. Um, so uh, they're they're good at kicking kicking the ball. So uh, you know the the it started to become popular probably I don't know ten years ago or so. I remember Brad Wing for LSU. He pinned us inside the five when you know back in two thousand and eleven or something like that. He pinned us inside the five like five times. I'm like, geez, and and. You know, they, the Texas had a really good one a couple of years ago. He was all pro first year. I can't remember his name, but uh, they're 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 becoming much more popular. And really, quite frankly, they just grow up punting, and and you can call this this, this certain service over there and order you one. So we got one coming here next year after this kid graduates. Love it. That's yeah, perfect. I think I think it was Dixon, the guy that's up in Seattle right now. He's a beast. Yeah, really good. Yeah, really really good. Uh, coach, what's up with the hair these days? You looked awesome against Oklahoma. You were letting it fly. What's uh, what are we thinking? Are we getting a haircut anytime soon? Or are we just gonna, you know, keep going crazy? Look, I got my haircut before the bowl game. You know, my my players last year at, at WVU wouldn't let me cut it. And after we lost to Oklahoma and we're out of the Big 12 championship, I cut it. So that would have been around December 1st. I didn't get it cut until approximately August 1st. Uh, mm. So it was really flowing towards the end of summer. Uh, you know, so this is a, this is actually what you're looking at is is a pretty freshly cut cut. You yeah. know, so it's gonna probably go for a while. You know, unless unless I have some bad luck, then we'll go ahead and shave it off. Do you do you ever go back and watch the tape of how awesome you look when you when you pop the visor off? Because you did it in the Oklahoma game. You I'm I'm gonna say this. Don't be upset about it. But your your nips were very erect and um, your hair was wild. And I was like, holy shit, this is the coolest coach in America. No, I don't go back and reflect on that <laughs> stuff. I can assure you of that. 
it, it, it was it was one of two things. I was really excited because we scored, or I was really pissed because we turned it over or something like that. So uh, it, it's hard to tell. I, I, I'm glad you get uh, a, a thrill out of it, Big Cat, but I don't go. Yeah, big, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna start through. I'm gonna send you all the picks. I take like, if you ever saw my phone roll, it'd be actually. I'd probably get arrested by the Holgersons because it'd be like, what's going oh, yeah. on here? You're taking a lot of pictures yeah. of coach.